So I'm flying to Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm there for a fit expo. So I go to the hotel, I check in, I go to the fit expo, I meet some people, some bodybuilders, some fitness people, some mutual friends, fighters. And then I realize, wait a minute, this is where BJ Penn lives. And I'm a big fan of BJ Penn. So I'm selling, I'm asking everybody, hey, does anybody know BJ? So mutual friends of ours set us up and BJ, what do you know? He comes to the expo and he tells me, listen, I gotta go, but tonight, you know, let's go uh, have dinner. I go, cool, all right. So we go to dinner, go to the restaurant. And after we ate, he says, let's go out, let's go party. I go, yeah, go, let's go first to my hotel room because um, uh, I, I don't have enough cash on me. He says, don't worry about it, I'll, uh, I'll pay. I said, no, 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 I really appreciate that. But uh, you never know what happens, you know, if we get lost or whatever and I, I lose you and, and I have no money, I, I would like to have money. So we go to the hotel room, I'm in the hotel room, I'm grabbing my cash and then I see my laptop standing open. Now at that time, I mean this is in 2000 or something, 2001, this is way back, I was always on the SureDog forum, you know, interacting with the, with the fans. And I say, hey, I have an idea. Let's make up a BS story, you know, that you and I, you know, that I, I met you in the bar, I always was a big fan, but you became a douchebag, and then we stopped pushing and shoving, and the bouncers came and broke us up, and we had this whole thing happening, and screw BJ Pan, he's not a good guy, wish that I never met him. And he's laughing, and he goes, yeah, sure, let's do that. Okay, okay, cool. So we're posting it, I hit send, bada bing, bada boom, and we go out, and we're having a great time. Party, 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 party. Now we get really freaking drink, drunk. Uh, I do. I got really drunk. Yeah, sorry, I have to watch because there's a car tailgating me. So I uh, was like, whoa, 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 what's going on here? I thought it was the cops. Um, so I'm getting really tanked. BJ leaves around 2.30, I believe. Uh, I keep continuing partying with his uh, brothers. We were freaking great guys. What a great family. I had a great time over there. And around 5 o'clock in the morning, I decide to go home because I'm completely trashed, right? So I'm coming home in the hotel and I have this weird thing that I always have to shower before I go to bed, no matter what stage I'm in. So, being really drunk, I still have to shower. So, I go in the shower, but just before I go into the shower, because I'm a pro now, by now, I've always been a drunk, right? Uh, not anymore, by the way. But at that time, I was drinking a lot. I know also that if I go to sleep, I'm gonna sleep probably for two hours, very solid, and then because of the alcohol, you wake up and you can't sleep anymore. <laughs> not boss with the dough, because I came in prepared. You know, I literally took some, uh, all right, this guy, yeah, whatever. I took Valiums with me. So, I'm popping a Valium, I put some things in order in the room, I jump into the shower, and while I'm in the shower, I realize that the Valium already starts kicking in. So I go, oh, I gotta stop showering now. So I get out of the shower, I dry myself off, and what do you know, I slip. And I fall backwards, and my head hits the toilet. Guys, do not ask me how, how this is possible. I have absolutely no clue, but the toilet explodes. I mean, it's one big rubble, 150 pieces. So water starts coming out and I go, oh man, this is not good. Oh, wait a minute, I, I have an idea. I'm gonna, since I have two queen beds, let's get all the blankets from one bed and just throw it on there, stomp it in the hole and then we'll be fine and tomorrow morning we'll fix it. I know, I was drunk. Uh, what do you know, right? <laughs> so, I'm going to bed. So the next morning I'm waking up and I go, hmm, I had a really weird dream. Was that a dream? Did I break a toilet? So uh, I'm looking, I'm uh, getting out of bed and I'm looking around the corner, I go into the, uh, the restroom and I, I see there's a toilet. I go, oh, good. Okay, I didn't break a toilet. Man, that was a weird dream though. So I'm sitting down, which is something I always do out of habit because most of the time in the middle of the night when I'm uh, when I wake up, I don't want to hit the light switch because otherwise I'm pissing all over the place and so I'm sitting down to pee. But I'm sitting and I'm peeing and then I realize, oh, wait a minute, I have to get up anyway. So I hit, I lean forward and I hit the light switch. And man, I'm freaking out. Like bloody handprints all over the place. And I go like, oh no, 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 what happened? I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I got nothing. I go, oh, no, 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 did I kill somebody? What did I do? You know, so I'm freaking out, I'm, I'm, I'm looking under the bed, I'm not kidding. I'm looking under the bed, I'm looking into the closet, uh, I'm going to the balcony, I open the door, I see if I threw somebody down the balcony, if you see some chalk lines, you know, from a person that landed there, <laughs> nothing. 
nothing. So I'm freaking, I'm standing there, not knowing what to do, and suddenly the telephone goes. And it's the security. They need to come, they need to come up. I said, sure, come up. So we got a knock on the door, this beautiful security lady opens the door, or I open the door, stands in front of the door. And, um, and she goes, uh, yes, sir, we had a, a problem last night. Uh, you broke a toilet. I go, oh man, so it wasn't a dream. <gasps> Uh-oh, so that also meant that I was opening the door naked, right? Because I was naked. So I go, oh, this is not good. And she says, no, no, it's really not good. And then she notices a picture of mine, an eight by 10 picture, a signing autograph picture, right? And it's me in a 70s suit, standing in a weird stance, and it says, El Wapo says dance. And then I have a big smile with a little bling on my tooth. And the woman goes, is that you? I go, yeah, that's me. She goes, oh, that's a nice picture. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. She says, oh, my boss is very angry. I mean, uh, yeah, be ready because uh, he's not going to be a nice person. I asked, we'll see what happens. I mean, it's not like he's going to beat me up, right? That's not going to happen. So I hear him coming in the hallway. She goes, okay, get ready. Here he comes. He comes around the corner. He says, okay, sir. You Boss Rutten, oh man, I'm a big fan of yours. Thank you. Wow, how are you doing? Can I make a picture? And I go, do we have any trouble here? Any problems? She said, no, no, don't worry about it. It's all good. You know, so boom, everything was fixed. And I go, oh, that's nice. Okay, so let's have breakfast. But it was already late, like 10 o'clock. So I go downstairs to get breakfast, but they just closed the breakfast. But a bunch of bodybuilders and fighters and, and fitness guys were still sitting at the table eating breakfast. So I'm sitting there with them, just drinking a coffee, and everybody is such a good spirit. They go, guys, why, why are you guys so happy? You go, oh, we got free breakfast. I go, you got free, free breakfast? They go, yeah. I said, why? It's just some idiot broke a toilet and the whole floor started floating with water and our luggage got wet, so everybody got comped free breakfast. I go, well, you're welcome. And he goes, what do you mean you're welcome? I said, that, that idiot, that was me. So everybody's laughing, we're having a good time. I go back upstairs. Now I'm in the room and I realize, oh, wait a minute. I put that message out on Sherdog. Oh, 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 wait, before I go back, the bloody handprints, you know the bloody handprints? Was I had a cut on the back of my head. So I was like, oh shit, and then I lost my balance. That's why these bloody handprints were everywhere. Anyway, I open the computer, go to the forum of Sherdog. And I go to the post, and boy, messages, pages after pages. BJ is an asshole, but I mean, everybody started, and I go, this is the first time I said, okay, guys, this is the first and last time we were playing a joke on you guys, so I explained everything. Okay, now it's time for me to get breakfast. So I went down, I went to the beach, because normally when I jump into the water, I always feel really good, it recoups, I recoup faster. I jump in the ocean, I come out, and there's a bunch of people there barbecuing, having a great time, and they go, hey, are you Boss Rutten? I go, yes, I am. She says, oh, you want a, you want a beer? I go, sure. <laughs> Hair of the dog, right? So I'm uh, drinking a beer, and they said, uh, did you have breakfast already? I said, it's funny that you ask. I said, because I was looking for a place to eat. Hey, we have barbecue. You want some barbecue? I go, dude, you guys are freaking awesome. So I'm having a beer, having a good time with these people, having a barbecue. And what did we learn from this whole thing? We learned from this whole thing that if you go into the shower and you're completely trashed, Maybe it's better not to shower, or at least put some towels on the floor so you don't slip and hit your head on the toilet. Because if that toilet wouldn't have broken, I probably wouldn't have been telling this story right now to you guys. So, crazy story. Thankfully, it's all in the past. I'm a complete different guy right now. I'm still crazy, but you know, I don't drink anymore. So, it's a, it's, it's a big difference. Guys, Godspeed, party on, and now I'm gonna say, party in moderation. Awesome! Yeah! <laughs>